Algebra 2 Honors, Lesson 9.1, Multiplying and Dividing Rational Expressions. So what's a rational expression? It's a fraction with variables, top and bottom. And this is really no big deal except for a couple things. Um, I can't have zero on the bottom. It blows up our calculator. Can't divide by zero. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> no, we'll see. So anyway, whenever you see a polynomial, instinct should tell you to factor it. If you're weak on factoring, go back and review. You're going to need it a lot. And we can cancel things. We get 1 over a plus 3. That's not it. Since we can't have a 0 on the bottom, we have to say a cannot equal clearly negative 3. We call this the excluded value. However, here's an interesting point. A can't equal 5 either. To which you might say, well, whoa, we canceled that. We don't need it anymore. I'll say, yeah, but it's part of the original equation. I get pretty intense, shall we say, about excluded values. A lot of other people don't. Say, I don't worry about it. Well, I get intense about it because... These are going to be modeling the real world. And if you put 5 into this original equation here, it will blow up. And it'll end up being 0 over 0. There is no 0 over 0. It's not 0. It's not infinity. It's, it's nothing. So make sure you watch for it. But that's really it. I'll give you some practice here. You might want to pause it. I'm going to crank through them. And always factor if you can. Sometimes you can't, in which case you don't have to worry about it. So there it's simplified it. And x cannot equal 5, 1, or negative 1. We get b plus 4 times b minus 3. b plus 4 times b plus 3. Cancel, cancel. There's our answer, b minus 3 over b plus 3, x cannot equal negative 4 comma negative 3. A little bit of exponent work to do here, so we handle the numbers first. We end up with negative m, and that is it. But m cannot equal 0, n cannot equal 0, p cannot equal 0. Again, if you do these elsewhere, you probably will find a teacher doesn't really worry about it. I do. z squared times w minus 1, z to the third, 1 minus w. And I've deliberately put this problem in here. We need to rewrite this. We need to factor out a negative 1. Top or bottom doesn't matter. I'll do it on the top. So it gives you negative w plus 1. Cancel those. Cancel those. We are left with negative 1 over z. z cannot equal 0. W cannot equal 1. So notice that trick with the negative. We'll do that a lot just to see how much skill you got. So how do we multiply 2 fifths times 15 over 8? Well, you just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. If you're smart, you cancel first. Same thing up here. 
Um, x squared, x and x, x squared, 2 and 6 and 12, I get 1 third. x cannot equal 0. I have a tendency after doing it long enough to forget that the excluded value, but hopefully you won't. And now we're multiplying these. You're probably saying, wait a minute, didn't we just do this? Yeah, it doesn't really look that different. Got a polynomial, factor it. Polynomial, factor it. Cancel, 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 equals 3x. I'll multiply it back out. You could have left it either way. It doesn't matter. x plus 3. Oof, boy, that's really bad. Let's fix that right here. x plus 1. x plus 3x plus 1. Cancel, cancel. I will multiply that out. 3x plus 12 over x plus 3, x cannot equal negative 3, negative 1, or 2. Just got to be careful there. I nearly ran off in the wrong direction on that problem. I'll have to check my work here. x plus 4, x minus 2, 3x plus 1, x plus 3, x plus 1, x minus 2, x minus 2 cancels, x plus 1 cancels, left with x plus 4 over x plus 3. Don't forget the 3 here. And you could have left it like this if you really want. That's fine too. Matter of fact, probably a better idea to do that. Doesn't matter to me. Dividing, hopefully you remember, means take the reciprocal of the second one. So we are doing the exact same problems. Just got to flip it first. It's like one of those evil math teacher things to make sure that people are paying attention. 30x to the third over 7x. 14x squared over 5x. 7, 2x and x. Five six equals six x to the third. Oops, there's a two up there. Twelve x to the third. Two six x to the third. X cannot equal zero. Now you have to be careful. You have to look at the original fraction, which ends up on the top here, but it's on the bottom of a the fraction there. So that piece can't be equal to zero either. Don't get hung up on it. Just be smart, and you're good to go. I'll factor on the fly. Check before I go canceling like I did last time, which was stupid. A plus 3, A minus 3. A plus 4, A minus 3. Yeah, that works. Cancel, 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 cancel. A plus 2 over A plus 4. A cannot equal, I have to look at this fraction, this one, and I have to look at this one, because they all end up on the bottom sooner or later. Negative 3, negative 4, positive 3, no you don't have to put them in order, I don't care. 3, negative 3, negative 4, 3, negative 3, got them. And last thing. What do we call this problem? We call it a complex fraction, and you already did it. You might not think you did it, but remember, something over something just means divided by. So we have x squared over x squared minus 25y squared divided by x over 5x minus y. And now the music starts again, and we've already done this x plus five y 
x minus 5y squared 5x minus y. Hmm. Oh well. Over x. I was really hoping something would cancel there. Guess not. Probably wrote the problem wrong. But it doesn't. So we have 5x squared minus xy. And I'll just refoil it. There's really no reason not to. Minus 25y squared. Comma. Bet you thought about this. Question mark. Since we have double variables, we have no idea. Um, I guess x can't be 0 because it's on the bottom of this fraction here. All right. Let us throw away our excluded values when we get two complex fractions. Just to make life simple. Here's one for you to try. I guarantee it works out better than what I just did. Pause if you want, but I'm going to blast through it. I like doing all my factoring up front, just so much easier, divided by times. Nothing else I can cancel. 2y squared minus 4. 3y plus 6. I'm going to put my excluded values in. I already told you you don't have to. But it looks like they work out on this one. So y cannot equal 2. Negative 2. That's it. It looks like a y might pop in there somewhere. No, it's on top there. Yes, we're good. Don't get hung up on excluded values. That's it. Fair amount of math. Doable, a fair amount of math. Good luck.